Hello, my name is Asia Rosiska and I am taking a break from binge watching The Good Wife to do this video lecture. The topic is going to be poetic realism. Is it my favorite movement? No, but it's a pretty solid one. Um, it's actually considered not to be technically a movement, but a loose tendency. If I had to choose a favorite movement, It'd be whatever movement the high school musical movies are a part of. Let's get started. Poetic realism was a movement that focused on characters on the margins of society and doomed love. As I mentioned, it was actually not considered a movement, but a loose tendency. But throughout this lecture, instead of saying loose tendency, I'm just gonna call it a movement. Uh, the characters' lives are defined by disappointment very relatable. <laughs> Nostalgia and melancholy is the best way to sum up poetic realism. My professor from last term called these films emo, which is another great way to sum it up. These films were a blend of comedy and tragedy and also a critique of society. The word poetic in poetic realism probably has to do with symbolic imagery throughout the films. This movement happened in France in the 1930s. Poetic realism lines up with the Great Depression in France. I believe the movies were a form of escapism during the hard time. The movement ended around the same time as World War II started. Long takes and long shots were a big part of this movement. Deep focus was also a part of poetic realism as well, which is when, kind of like this, my Swiffer sweeper and my broom handle and the top of my microwave in a picture. You can see it all clearly and you can see me clearly. That's deep focus. I might mispronounce his name. I want to say like Jean Renoir is the man who is most commonly associated with poetic realism. He is a director, producer, writer, and an actor. So a man with many talents, none that I have. He started, wrote, and directed the film, The Rules of the Game, which is the most well-known film in the movement. I think one of the main reasons it is remembered today is because it influenced two major movements, not too long after it ended. Poetic realism influenced Italian neorealism and French New Wave, two very well-known, important movements. I also feel like poetic realism mixed things up and was a refreshing change from the everyday cookie cutter type film. Tragedy can elicit feelings more powerful than happiness can. It makes it so the film sticks with you. Speaking of tragedy, the scene I want to do a close read on is the rabbit hunt scene in The Rules of the Game. Literally the worst scene in the world. This is not a scene I am fond of, but I think it is a great representation of poetic realism. The scene is about rich people hunting rabbits. Interesting topic. They use real rabbits in the scene and actually shoot them. So we are watching rabbits get murdered. Since the rabbits are quick, the camera quickly pans to follow the rabbits. This scene has some long takes when it is focusing on the hunters walking in the woods, but the shots with the rabbits are fairly quick because the rabbits themselves are very quick but the camera follows them for as long as it really can. There are also birds being shot too, which is great. I believe they are quails. There is no non-diegetic music or anything. The only noise is diegetic, unclear dialogue and the loud gunshots. Cause you can't really hear the whole time what these people are saying, but you can tell that they're talking to one another while they're murdering these animals. The shots of the rabbits running or birds flying are intercut with the hunters aiming and shooting their rifles. The animals were being killed for sport slash entertainment and not for food. Some believe this to be a way to foreshadow the death of a character later in the film. Some believe Renoir was making a statement about the upcoming World War II. The scene just seems to be about tragedy. It's very hard to watch and hopefully 
I will never have to watch it again after this lecture. I know I am the one who chose this scene, but it best sums up the movement in my opinion. Just like poetic realism, my lecture is short and sweet. I hope you enjoyed watching and I hope you have a good day. I'm gonna go watch more of The Good Wife. Goodbye!